actor is saying his lines, and then, what, out of nowhere, he just starts singing? Yes! At first glance, something rotten can look like a Renaissance fair set to music, but the cast wants you to know, this show is no Shakespeare in the Park. We don't want anyone to get scared away of, like, a language barrier. There are no these and thous to be afraid of. Actors Rob McClure and Josh Grissetti play the Bottom Brothers, a pair of playwrights trying to grab the spotlight from their writing rock star rival. I play a writer uh, who is competing with Shakespeare, who in our show is quite literally the rock god of the time, and I hate him. So I go to a soothsayer to find out what the future of the theater will be, and I am informed that the future is musicals. So I, with the help of my brother, um, fellow writer, uh, set out to write the world's first musical. Something Rotten was supposed to have its world premiere in Seattle in 2015, but instead it went straight to Broadway, where it received 10 Tony nominations, including one for Best Musical. Not bad for a satirical show that playfully mocks musicals, and even Shakespeare himself. I love Shakespeare, I revere him, but you know, I also agree with Nick in the very beginning of who talks like who that. Who talks like this? <laughs> <laughs> and it's too long, like just give us a break. Um, so I, I love that we're, we're getting to make fun of that. If you love musicals and you love Shakespeare, then the show will absolutely be up your alley. But if you hate musicals and hate Shakespeare, it's a great introduction to both of them because it does lovingly send them up. So don't let the tights and cod pieces fool you. Something rotten may look medieval, but it's as modern as it gets. It gives you everything you want out of going to see a big old splashy Broadway musical comedy. It's got nods to old Broadway, but the whole sense of humor is contemporary, so really it does have something for everyone. Big hit musical! Thanks, Kim. You